Hi, Jim Winkler here. I want to demonstrate how to hook up a Palliser home theater seat uh, face shaker system. So I'll go over how to do that. So when it comes in, you're going to get a box of items. And what we have here is a power supply. Okay, this operates the power part of the chair. So you, there's a couple of cords hanging out the back of the chair. One's a little cord with a pin printer, I mean a pin uh, end on it. You plug that into the power supply and then this into an extension cord. Okay, that operates the opening and closing of the chair. This other one is for the base shaker. So this is the box this comes in. Now we also have a shaker power supply that comes in another box. That's a ZS480. You get a transmitter for your stereo system. 8051-01. You get a power plug for that operates that 8015-01. This powers this up, and then you get a, a a Y splitter. So what you have to do is you first open the chair, you plug it in to give it power. Uh, this is obviously with the seat back off, so you can get to it. So after that, it reveals the shaker uh, motor down here, right? So there's a Velcro strap with some wires in there. Go ahead and undo that. So this wire here connects to the seat back. This is where the actual shaker is. So you will set the seat here, plug these in. That gives that connection. This you don't need. You also, this needs to be powered up. This plugs into here and this goes into the other wire hanging underneath the seat which is the actual base shaker motor. These plug together. This plugs in. This powers up the actual um, amplifier. This is a little control for the intensity of it. So after that's connected you can slide this through here. Just make sure it's to get in top of the mechanism and that can lay inside the seat area for the person when they're sitting there to use it. The next thing you have to do is take this transducer, power that up, and this will plug into your stereo receiver. They're gonna give you a Y cable. So if you have a powered subwoofer, you need this. You will plug this into the sub, this end here. You'll need to get an RCA cable. These are female, and these are female, so you get two male ends plug that in here and turn that on and that'll power up your signal to get that going. And that's basically all there is to it. Uh, it's Bluetooth capable, so you can sync that up with a, uh, an iPhone or an Android to make that work also. Uh, just read the instruction booklet for that. Um, you only need this if you have a powered subwoofer. If it's not powered, this can go directly into the receiver and plug in to this. So you don't really need this. You could just plug this straight in. There will be an instruction booklet in there also to kind of show you how to do that. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it's sometimes easier to see it visually. So good luck.